Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is probably my most highly requested video ever. Obviously, as you can tell by the title, today I am going to be trying out some Makeup Revolution products. If you didn't already see my Makeup Revolution haul, I did do a massive haul in preparation for this testing makeup video, so do feel free to check that out. I'll leave a link to it down below. So I have a ton of new products, new to me anyway, that I am going to be chucking on my face. I think I have pretty much everything for a full face, apart from a powder. So I am just going to be using like a bog standard affordable powder, um, but I think they do do one. I know they do like a banana powder, which I've been dying to get my hands on, but it's been sold out every single time I've tried to order it. If you tried it, let me know your thoughts. But yeah, pretty much a full face. A lot of it is brand new to me. So if you do want to see my thoughts and the look that I end up creating, please keep watching. So first of all, I'm going to start off with a product that isn't new to me, but to be honest, I haven't really used it that much. It's the Pro Primer Aqua Priming Base and from what I can tell, this is meant to be a dupe of the Smashbox Priming Water, which I have recently picked up, so maybe I can do a comparison on those at some point. I'm just going to squirt this all over my face. So it does actually feel quite tacky, which is good because it will mean that it should, in theory, keep my makeup on my face. It doesn't feel heavy or anything like that, but when you kind of move your face a little bit, you can feel that it almost feels a little bit more stuck, but hopefully that will go in time. Next we're going to move on to foundation. Now finding foundations from Makeup Revolution is near impossible. They have one called the One Foundation but I think they are getting rid of the stock or something because a lot of it is always on sale. I have the Ultra Base, Ultra Face Base Foundation, BB Cream Foundation, Ultra Long Lasting Makeup. That is a long ass name. This one is in the shade FB06. I think I got it, yes it's like a yellow tone one because I am a bit more sort of yellow tone than anything else so I'm hoping this will match. I'm not expecting miracles, but I'm at least hoping this will match. And I'm gonna be applying it using one of the oval face brushes. I have done a full review on this. If you do wanna look at that, then I'll leave a link to it down below. But I am gonna be using that. So I think I'm just gonna apply some to the back of my hand first. I'm gonna take quite a bit because I don't know how full coverage it'll be. So it looks a little bit pale, but it looks like the right sort of tone. It's quite thick. It is very thick actually. Doesn't seem to be too much coverage. Despite it being thick. So I've already used up all that foundation that I put on the back of my hand. I think I'm just going to apply it straight to my face. This stuff is super cheap so you can't expect too many miracles but let's see. I actually really like this brush for other foundations but for this one I'm not really feeling it, so I think I'm going to move on to just a general buffing brush and we'll see if that makes any difference. To be fair, the colour's pretty good as well, like I said it is a little bit fair, but it's not too bad just for something that I picked up online. I am applying a lot of this though, like I've gone through probably about four pumps worth and I'm still not happy with the coverage. It doesn't look cakey though, that's one good thing. But yeah, this definitely is buildable but it does take a lot to build it up, if that makes sense. So next I'm gonna move on to concealer. This is the Focus and Fix Liquid Concealer and I have mine in the shade Zero to Fair. It's quite yellowy, as you may be able to tell. Very yellowy. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna apply quite a lot of this because I do want the coverage. And I'm just gonna buff that in with the same brush as before. Again, doesn't look cakey, not the most full coverage, but it's doing enough. Thankfully, I'm having a fairly good skin day today, so I don't need a crazy amount of coverage. Okay, it's starting to dry under my eyes, so it's proving to be a little bit difficult to blend under my eyes. But you know what, I might actually go back in with that priming water, just to make that a little bit easier to blend. Yeah, that works. Okay, so I finally have my base blended out. That did take quite a lot of time, but you can make it work. The result isn't too bad. It does feel quite heavy on my face now because I do have quite a lot of base product on my face. I mean, you can go and find something that's probably like a pound or two more that works a lot better, but it's okay. It does the job. If you're willing to put the effort in, then it is fine. I'm now gonna do a little bit of contouring using the Ultra Pro HD Cream Contour. I realized that I also have this contour palette and looking at it, I feel like they're literally exactly the same, but I've not used either of them. I'm gonna go in with the new one though, because I don't know if they're still making the other contour palette. And I think I'm going to go in with maybe this shade here to start off with. 
and I'm just gonna pop that there. I think I'm also gonna go in with a slightly darker one, just over the top. They are quite ashy, which is quite good, because normally they're always very orange toned on the drugstore. And now I'm gonna go in with this brush here and almost blend it upwards a little bit. That works quite well. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'm just gonna take a mixture of all three of the contouring shades and I'm just gonna work that around my hairline as well. As you can see, it is really, really cool toned. So it's definitely a contouring palette, not a bronzing palette. Just go under my jaw and then again, blend that out. And I'm also just gonna take a little bit of that on the bottom of my nose just to shorten that a little bit. So I actually think I'm gonna quickly try this contouring palette and just take this warmer shade, just to see if we can warm up my face a little bit because it is looking a little bit too ashy for me. Next, I'm gonna do a bit of powder contouring using the Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit. This one is in the shade Ultra Fair. And I'm gonna take this contour shade here and just pop that under my cheekbone. I find that the powders are where Makeup Revolution really start to get good. Really like this powder, it reminds me a lot of the sleek one. You know what, I'm going to take a little bit of that and work it into my collarbone as well. Oh yeah. I'm now just going to quickly add a little bit of powder to my face just to set my under eyes and things like that. This is just the Art Deco powder, super cheap, I'll leave a link to it down below. Now that I've got my powder and my contour on. I feel like the base looks a lot better. So like I said, you can make it work. It's just not something that you're gonna be able to slap on and it's gonna look perfect. You do need to work with it a little bit. I'm now just gonna go in with this blush shade here. Pop that on the apples of my cheeks. This looks a lot like NARS Orgasm actually. It's almost like pink with flecks of gold in it. So it's really, really nice and glowy. So I do have this highlighter here that is in this palette, but I actually have another highlighter as well that I'm gonna use. This one here is the Radiant Lights Glow, and I'm gonna take my Luxe Powder Fusion Brush, and we'll see how this goes. Not bad. This is more of like a natural glow, but it's still pretty blinding when it catches the light. Really, really nice color as well, and you can build it up by the looks of things. Yeah, I love that. Just fan brushing that over my nose and my cupid's bow. A little bit on my chin. And up here as well. Gone quite dark on my nose and cupid's bow. So I think I'm gonna blot that down and we'll use the one in the little trio. So pop that there. Much better. I think it's fine around here because normally obviously you have contour and you've got your blush so it kind of makes like a nice transition but for me it was a little bit too dark on my nose and cupid's bow so this guy works fine. I'm going to pop a little bit down here as well and then I'm just going to blot the excess down with my buffing brush just so it kind of meshes into the skin a little bit more and I'm going to take that highlighter from that trio again and just pop that on my inner corners for the time being. That is blinding. Hope you've got your sunglasses on and brow bone as well. I'm kind of really feeling this highlight in this palette. I just realized I haven't even done my brows yet. Okay, let's move on to brows. So I have put a little bit of brow gel through my brows and I'm now gonna go in with this palette here. This one is the Focus and Fix Eyebrow Shaping Kit in the shade Medium Dark. And it also comes with a brush and a pair of tweezers. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of the wax and dip it into maybe this shade here. And let's fill in my arch. So it's definitely filling them in. It's a nice color match as well. It's not warm or anything, which is good, because I find a lot of the time, on the drugstore, eyebrow products are always like brown reds. Who has red eyebrows? I'm just gonna go in with the lighter shade and kind of brush that through the front. Pretty happy with those brows, actually. I don't know about you guys, but they look pretty good to me. If I do say so myself. 
So we've got the majority of my face makeup on. I'm now gonna move into eyes. I have two palettes, both new. The first one is the, what are you called? Love the Revolution. This was a free gift when I spent a certain amount of money in Superdrug. So we've got a few shades there, but I think the one I'm gonna focus on today is the Light and Shade palette, which is of course a dupe for Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And I think I'm just gonna do a mix of browns. I'm probably gonna set my eye in place with either one of those shades. May use that as a transition. Probably going with one of these two shades here, just in the crease. And then, I mean, we're probably gonna add a little bit of the red. And I may also add this kind of bronzy tone here. Maybe a little bit on the lid, like kind of create a bit of a halo eye or something. So I've just zoomed you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna go in with this shade up here. I just pack that all over my lid. It'd be useful if they had a mirror on this palette but that doesn't really make a difference to me. Really nice formulation, and I think I saw, yeah, new formula, talc free, which is great. Next, I'm gonna take this kind of peach shade and just pop that in the crease for a transition. I am really liking the formulation of these so far. Then I'm gonna go in with this sort of medium brown shade here, and I'm gonna pop that in the crease. That's a really good crease shade, I like that a lot. I'm also just gonna go on my lower lash line with that same color. I am then, of course, going to go in with this burgundy shade. And I'm gonna pop that slightly lower down in the crease. Not quite on the lid, but kind of like halfway. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy today. I'm heading out for a few meetings in a bit, so I don't quite want to go like all out. I think that is just a really nice sort of everyday but still quite smoky eye look. Yeah, I really, really like that and I really, really like this palette. I'll definitely be using this a lot more. So just to make things a little bit more interesting and just to try this out, I'm guessing they're the same kind of formulation. I'm going to go in with this copper shade, super pigmented tap off the excess because I don't want it to be too powdery and I'm just going to pop that kind of on the centre of the lid. That's actually a lot less dramatic than I thought it was going to be so we can go a little bit more with that. And I know you guys are going to be curious about this highlighter so I'm just going to put that there for you. Say no more. Next I'm going to line my waterline with the amazing Inner Eye Brightener, it's just like a nude liner. I have used this before and it's pretty good. And then I'm going to add a baby wing using the awesome Double Flick Liquid Eyeliner. So this one has two different ends, one's thicker, one's thinner. I'm going to go in with the thinner side because I think that'll be a bit easier to use. And I'm just going to create a very, very mini flick. Not the best wing I've ever done, it's just starting to get longer and longer, but I'm going to leave it at that, I think it's okay. Okay, I think that matches enough. I mean, it's not quite Kat Von D tattoo liner, but it's pretty black, and it was quite easy to use as well. I'm just going to fill in those little areas here. Then I'm going to go in with mascara. I did want to try the Viper mascara because I have heard a few good things about that. This one is the Power and Definition Awesome Lash Mascara. It's just in the shade black and it's got a pretty fat wand. Hopefully you can see that. Please give me intense lashes. I don't think it's going to quite give me the intense lashes that I want. But it is separating them and it is giving them colour. So this does seem to be more of like a lengthening mascara than like a thickening one. But that's obviously the before, that's the after, so you can see the difference. Okay, yeah, pretty happy with that. It's made my lower lashes go insane. Like, they look even longer than my top lashes. In fact, they've made it so long that they've actually started to transfer onto my concealer. So. I'm gonna have to touch that up quickly. Okay, so that is our eyes done. Now we're gonna move on to lips, which I am I am very excited about the lip products that I have today. I have one of their new, if I can find it, their new lip kit. So basically the dupes for the Kylie Jenner lip kit. So it comes with a lip liner, also comes with a liquid lipstick. And I also have this lipstick here, which is a matte one in the shade Chauffeur. I tried this on in my uh, Makeup Revolution haul. 
I love this. This may have become my new like everyday nude lip option, so I am loving that. First of all, I'm going to apply this nude liner. This one is in the shade Echelon, and I'm just going to go over my lips. I think I may show you guys this with the lip liner, and then I'll go over the top with the actual liquid lipstick. These lip liners are incredibly creamy. And I actually did a swatch of them on my hand, and it has gone now, but I was literally scrubbing at it for so long. I used like eye makeup remover, I used oil cleansers, I used regular soap, I used the makeup eraser, which takes off pretty much everything. I was scrubbing like mad because I did just do like a fresh layer of fake tan, and nothing took it off. So it does look like it's there to stay. I don't know if they're supposed to be waterproof or not, but I mean, it seemed it. So this is the lip liner just on the outside of my lips. And I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that, but this is only like the first and a half, because obviously I did a swatch in the last video times that I've used this. They are so creamy that you could probably only get like four, maybe five use set of them until you'd have to sharpen them back down. And then I'm just gonna quickly show you this lipstick because you guys need to see this. I'm sorry, but it's just the most perfect nude. I'm honestly obsessed with this. So like I said, this one is in the colour Chauffeur and it's their matte one. They do an original one, so if you do like sort of a more satin finish, they do do one, but I think this lip colour is absolutely stunning. And it was like two or three pounds, bargain. So I just took off the majority of that just to show you guys the liquid lip. So again, this one is in the shade Echelon. The formulation reminds me a lot of Colourpop. So that is the lip colour on. Really, really gorgeous colour. I feel like this is definitely a dupe for one of them. Like one of the original three that she came out with, like Candy K, Dolce K, one of those. Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but yeah, really, really love this colour. I'm just going to wait until it dries down a little bit more. Okay, so it's now dried down pretty much and it feels a little bit tacky, but not in a sense that when I press my lips together, it kind of like separates when you put your lips together. So it does just have more of like a tacky finish, but it doesn't feel too drying either, which is good. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this so far. I also have another color in the shade Magnificent. This is like a sort of bluey, greeny black shade. So I may have to do a look on that soon, but judging by the formulation of this so far, I think I'm going to have to pick up all of them for you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you want me to so that I can do like a full swatching or something like that because I'm pretty impressed with the formulation and the kits are like six pounds or something. So yeah, let me know if you do want me to pick up every single colour. You know what, I'm just going to chuck some of that highlighter on my shoulders because they're out to play today. Let's get a bit of a glow on. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and as expected, I am super impressed with Pretty much everything that I tried out today. I mean, the foundation, the concealer, probably not gonna use them on a regular basis. Um, but if you do wanna try it out and if you are in the market for something super affordable, you definitely can make it work. Just make sure you do powder it down and stuff like that. The cream contour was nice, a little bit ashy, but ashy is good if that's what you want. It's really, really good for contouring. Maybe pick up like a bronzer shade or something as well. Um, the highlighters are absolutely incredible. Eyeshadow is incredible, really do like the brow powder actually, it's nice and like a sort of ashy shade as well. The liquid lipsticks, in love, as well as the um, chauffeur lipstick, I am just 100% obsessed with that. And yeah, generally everything was pretty much a big thumbs up from me. Let me know what you guys think of this overall makeup look, do you think it looks like a super budget makeup look or not? Let me know in the comment section down below and also let me know your favourite Makeup Revolution products. If I haven't tried it then I will 100% give it a go. As always all of the products will be linked down below if you do want to check them out alongside all my socials and everything like that. I also have a brand new gaming channel which I will leave a link to down below because that's a new venture for me. As always please do give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe if you do want to see more of me. I post three times a week every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!